I'm a creative, at least I think so, but I'm also sabotaging my own creativity. Here are nine problems why I struggle with my creativity and also nine possible solutions. Why am I still trying to please other people? I make the music for myself. This is the only thing I do just for fun and learning. Set aside a few customers' projects uh, creating sounds for their videos. What I try to do about it, I try to stop thinking about other people's opinions. I just create for the sake of creating and for fun. Next problem is not calling myself an artist. Yeah, I'm no artist, but maybe I am. Do I have the skills to call myself an artist? What will other artists think about me? Oh, well, I think I should call myself an artist. Problem, trying too much new equipment. New software and new hardware are so interesting and so distracting. I made my money as editor for computer magazines and my job was to test new software and sometimes hardware. This behavior sticks and I must force myself to not test tool after tool because this keeps me away from making music. What I try to do is staying away from new equipment and focus on what I already have. Watching too many reviews or tutorials. This is how I played Minecraft. I started the app a few times and played about five hours. Then I started watching Minecraft videos. Why play when somebody else can play for me and I can just enjoy? But watching tutorials and reviews keeps me away from being creative. What I try to do is to watch less reviews and tutorials, asking myself, do I really need to watch this? Does this really improve my skills? Please do not stop watching this video. This is not a tutorial and not a review, so you can watch on. Would you? Please. Being a freelancer for almost 30 years now, I am used to work in projects. Get an order, process it and deliver a finished project. I'm not allowing myself to just play around. What I try to do is allow myself to make nonsense with my instruments. This is part of creativity. I do not need to always deliver finished projects. This is a very old problem of mine, putting too much pressure to myself. I always did that and it was not only a bad thing, but in music, it is a problem. I always want to improve and I don't want to fail myself. This is not very healthy and I had my share of issues with that. What I try to do is being kind to myself and always allowing myself to spend some time with unproductive stuff. Next problem is not to take breaks. Sometimes I'm too much into a project and I'm losing that distance you need sometimes. What I try to do is I try to set aside the project for a few hours or even days before I touch it again. That break from working at it helps me to approach the project with a fresh view and new ideas. Being stuck to a genre is another problem for me. I love ambient music, but I need to get out of the genre. Leaving my comfort zone is the only way to discover new sounds and new ideas, at least for me. What I try to do is I try to play in other genres even if I don't have the skills. It's about new ideas and not about perfection. Last problem, I question every little decision I make. Did I really want to say that? I am micromanaging myself. Well, you yeah, know, micromanaging is uh, it's a difficult word. And micromanaging is what bad bosses do. They want to rule every little detail in your work. I guess it's a small detail. Questioning every little thing you do. How toxic. And here I am questioning myself about every little decision I made with my music. Do I really need that note? Is that sound really good? And this is not helpful while you're creating. Of course, it is okay to improve your work, but for me, not during the process of creation. What I try to do, I let myself go and I work in stages, a creation stage where I just let my creativity flow and a review stage where I work on details, change things and improve my work. Of course, this is a process I have to repeat several times until the project is finished. 
it is so much easier not to stand in my own way while creating. These are my creative issues and I think I'm not alone with them. Sure, it depends on the person, on the personality, how you can let yourself go and how you can be creative. But I think maybe there were some tips for you in this video. So thank you very much for watching and keep creating. Bye. And watch this video. It's good. Really.